Hear, O Israel, that's the command, by the way. Listen up, Israel. And it's Israel, not just you individually, but the group, right? That's a very important point for me, because our religion in America tends to be very privatized and individual. Me and my little salvation. If I can just get to heaven, that's wonderful. That's wrong. That's fundamentally wrong. It's the wrong approach. Listen, Israel. We are the Israel of God. Galatians 6.16. And I say that at the risk of my life because the older folks in the Church of God didn't like that. A very easy thing, by the way. These dear people from the 1850s onwards, they discovered that the word Israel has a reference to future national Israel, now blinded national. And they were right, right? The Bible has lots to say about the future of national Israel, what we call a Jew, right? They, they, they discovered that. It's fine. Romans 9 to 11, and much in the Old Testament. God is not finished with what we call Jews, right? Not many of them have accepted Messiah, we see that, but he hasn't finished with them. That was a great discovery. Then they said, well, when you say Israel, you must strictly only mean blinded national Israel. See that? That was a sort of either-or thing, which doesn't work, because we are also the Israel of God. Can you handle that? But I got in trouble for saying that. But it's very obvious. In Galatians 6.16, he says, peace on the Israel of God. You are God's people. You're the spiritual Israel, no question. And there's also a future for national Israel. Both things, you have to handle both. And then we're making friends with the A mills and pre mills and everybody out there. It's not, it's not difficult. So, listen, Israel, this certainly applies to us, doesn't it? Because Jesus is saying it. I take it that if Jesus teaches it, it's for us, isn't it? We're listening to the master rabbi. He's our boss. He's the one we're supposed to listen to.